Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the properties of alpha, beta and gamma radiation. These include their range in air, their penetrating power and their ionizing power. In the last video we saw that some isotopes are radioactive and that means that their nuclei decay and they release radiation. That's a random process so we cannot predict when it will happen. Three types of radiation are alpha particles, beta particles and gamma radiation. In this video, we're going to look at the properties of these, so let's get started. The first key property is their range in air. Alpha particles are large. That means that they can travel around 5 centimetres in air before they collide with air particles and stop. Beta particles, on the other hand, can travel further. They can reach around 15 centimetres in air before stopping. Now, gamma radiation can travel much further than either alpha or beta particles. So, gamma radiation travels several metres in air before stopping. OK, the next key property is penetrating power. And this tells us what type of material is required to stop each form of radiation. So, starting with alpha particles, these are relatively easy to stop. In fact, alpha particles are stopped by a single sheet of paper. Beta particles are harder to stop. In order to stop beta particles, we need a few millimetres of aluminium. Gamma radiation is even harder to stop, so gamma radiation is stopped by several centimetres of lead. OK, the final property we need to look at is ionising power. So first of all, we need to explore what that means. When radiation collides with atoms, that can cause the atoms to lose electrons and form ions. And we saw in an earlier video that ions are atoms with a charge. Now, each type of radiation has a different ionising power. Alpha particles are very strongly ionising. That means they can produce a lot of ions when they collide with the material. Beta particles are quite strongly ionising, but not as ionising as alpha particles. And finally, gamma radiation is only weakly ionising. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the properties of radiation in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. OK, so hopefully now you should be able to describe the properties of alpha, beta, and gamma radiation.